Hey guys, I'm the Burke and I do things. In today's video, I did this makeup look. I just wanted to be able to sit down and do makeup and play with makeup and just like feel like a person for like 20 minutes. I used a couple new products in this video. I also talked about a couple newer products that I've been testing and kind of what I'm thinking about them. So if you just wanna like hang out and talk about makeup like the old days, then keep on watching. Let's go. If I don't just start my makeup, I'm never gonna film this video. I've just been like procrastinating this for so long. We're just gonna do it. I'm gonna put makeup on my face. Maybe we'll talk about other things mainly. I just want makeup time. That's all I want. My face right now I have the e.l.f. Glowy SPF. I got this sample of the Milk Hydro Grip when I ordered from Sephora earlier this year and I realized there's really not that much in it. So I've just been using it um, on days when I use like a skin tint. And yeah, no, it's fine. I mean, it's good enough that I can just like use it till it's gone, but I don't really have passionate feelings one way or another about it. I bought this concealer a couple months ago on Amazon, the Catrice True Skin Concealer. I've been really, really liking this. It makes me sad that you can't buy Catrice anywhere, but I guess either their website or Amazon. I really do miss being able to buy it from Ulta, but it's the first time I've bought from Catrice since they kind of pulled out of Ulta. And uh, this concealer has not been disappointing at all. I really, really like it. I got the shade 002 Neutral Ivory. I like the coverage it gives and I think it has some pretty good wear time. And it doesn't super, I mean, it settles a bit into my, into my lines, but not like some thicker concealers. Like it's a little bit thinner, which I feel like is something I prefer. All right, I mixed these two foundations yesterday just cause I was trying to like work with the shades I have left in my, collection. So I mixed the Wet n Wild Tinted Hydrator in light medium with the Fenty Beauty Hydrating Foundation in the shade 230. It seemed to work. Just kind of seeing what I have that's like more like summery time shades for me and just experimenting. It seemed okay. I did use a sponge when I applied it and that seemed to work. So I just kind of mixed them on the back of my hand and there's dot on my face and blending with a sponge. How's everyone's summer going? Because mine is just like, where's summer in the Northeast? The world apparently didn't get the memo that it is nearly July because it has been gloomy and rainy and honestly, <laughs> quite miserable lately. I never really thought I had a seasonal defective disorder. Is that what it's called? <laughs> Until I became a mom and I realized like nice weather meant literally like a breath of fresh air. <laughs> and now like all these like gloomy days in a row, they're hitting hard. They're hitting me really hard. Now I'm gonna go in with my Makeup Revolution Cream Bronzer. So yeah, I just, I feel like I've been in such a funk. We've been having kind of a tough year. I mean, I, I would say we've been having a tough couple years, but this year's just been like emotionally hard on us. And Scott and I finally decided that we were gonna go away. I did do a vlog on this. So we went away for one night and honestly, we had such a nice time. I'm throwing on a little Wander Beauty Lip Oil. We had a really good time when we went away and it was just like 24 hours of almost like just doing whatever we wanted time. It felt fun. You know, it was fun to just like go away and have fun. <laughs> One of the things I wanna do in this video was I got a PR package from Merit and they did send me two products. I got to pick what I wanted. So I one of the products I chose was their Flush Balm. I chose the shade Beverly Hills. I thought, I thought this would be like a nice shade because it seemed like it would like go with a lot of looks. So this is my first time trying. <laughs> So we'll see what I think. Anyway, so we went away and it was so nice. Even though it was only 24 hours, like it was really nice getting away. And I feel like since we've gotten back, which it's been about a week now, I've been in such a rut and I haven't been able to get out of the rut. I feel like I had this like high last week when we were away and it just felt like free. I just felt so free and like, it was just, I felt like myself. I guess that's what I'm saying. It's like, I finally felt like myself and I could just like have fun. And I haven't been able to like feel myself in so long. It's just, it's been hitting me harder than I expected. I didn't expect to go away and then come back and just like kind of flatline. But here we are and that's kind of how I feel. I don't know about that blush. Kind of feel like it disappeared. I mean, like I could see it kind of. Maybe I have like a different shade better, but I kind of feel like it disappeared. I don't know, I have to play with it more. I've just been stuck in a cycle. I'm using the number seven powder. Set in my eyes. I've been avoiding filming because I just, I don't like coming on here and always feeling like such a Debbie Downer. So like I always avoid filming because I'm like, who wants to hear me complain that I don't know what I'm doing with my life? Again, because I feel like that's 
the gist. I need some La Mercier powder. I really don't know what I'm doing with my life. I miss being able to play with makeup. I miss having time to play with makeup. I mean, like, for so long, I've been wanting to film a speed review video because I have a bunch of products I've tried, like that concealer is a perfect example. I've been trying that for a couple months now and I haven't even been able to, like, sit down and, like, talk about it. But, like, I just, I don't know how people find the time. I literally don't. I wish I understood, but, like, the only reason I'm able to film right now is because Scott took Phoebe to his mom's house for the afternoon. I'm just a little stressed out. I don't know if that was clear, but I'm stressed out. Anyway, this is the Too Faced Born This Way powder. I've been using this to set, like, around my neck because I hate when I, I like get transfer onto my clothes. So I've been like using this powder specifically to just like make sure everything is set down here and not gonna kind of transfer anywhere. Weird fun fact about me though, I've become a bird lady. That wasn't on my 2023 bingo card. We got this little bird feeder for Phoebe and I didn't even know if like birds were gonna come cause like we don't get a lot of birds around where I live. I don't know why. But oh my goodness, we have birds all the time now and I just stand at my front window and watch them eat. And I'm highly entertained, so that's a thing. Also something I didn't know we had around here, foxes, because one came to visit our bird feeder one night, pooped in our driveway. So I can now say I've cleaned up fox poop. Again, something else that was not on my bingo card. I feel like something else that really affected me though about going on vacation was like, I had so much fun vlogging it. Like it was so much fun like getting the shots I wanted and putting it all together and compiling it. Like I don't always have a lot of fun editing because sometimes I'm like, I don't want to listen to myself just talk all the time. Like that's annoying to me, <laughs> but it was so fun editing the vlog. And it was like, and Scott was like, well, you should do this more often. And I'm like, we don't do things like, Life is just like a like mundane, like Groundhog's Day, every day is the kind of same situation. Check out, just to switch topics completely now, check out the pan in my balm bronzer. It's really in big. I feel like I can definitely have this finish this year, which would be the same amount of bronzers I finished last year. So we're on track. I'm gonna do like the tiniest bit of eyeshadow. I've been having a lot of trouble with my eyes. I feel like this year they just, I don't know. I think especially with like the changing of the seasons and allergies and stuff, they've just been not doing great. So I haven't been doing like any eye makeup and you'll be surprised, but my most reached palettes are these smiley palettes I got in PR from Urban Decay. So I'm just gonna show you like a really easy look I do with these. But I basically, in this one, this is the Chill Happy. I use like these first three shades and at least I think it looks pretty good. So I take like the peachy shade, let's use this one. I'm just gonna pat it all over my lid. And then I'll just take a fluffier brush with this lighter shade then i'll throw on some nyx glitter primer because it is hot in my office right now i do not know why and then i'll use this shade which is called happy trap which is like the light shimmery and i'll just pat it all over i find the urban decay formulas for the most part to be just like a simple easy formula to work with i always have pretty good luck with them now really quick i'm just gonna throw some liner on and we'll be right back with the rest of the face my eyes are probably going to be very mad at me for putting eye makeup on today, but you know what? YOLO. My most used blush recently has been from MAC. I'm fairly certain when I got this, it was already just, it was already discontinued. And I've had this for probably since 2018. It's their Mineralized Blush in the shade Cosmic Force. I got this from BoxyCharm and it was a baked, well, it is a baked blush, but it's not even like domed anymore it's so used <laughs> but it's just like kind of very neutral and i feel like it goes with kind of all the looks which is why i reach for it so much i don't know i just think it's such an easy formula to use it's the only mineralized blush i've used from mac before and i go in with my, my beloved becca powder which i mean the pan is getting more and more pan and less and less powder as the days go by so around everything. I have stopped setting in between my brows because I have like a a wrinkle, I guess, in between there. And it feels like if I set that area, it just gets worse. It's my little frowning wrinkle, but I've just found it's better off if I don't set that spot. For inner corner highlight, I've been using this Becca Afterglow palette and I've been using champagne pop in here. Honestly, I have like a goal one day to try to fully pan this palette. I like every product in it, so I feel like it would be doable. That's been my inner corner highlight lately. All right, now I'm gonna set it. We're gonna try this other product from Merit that I got. 
This is their, it's a gloss. I thought getting a gloss would be good. And then I saw like a lot of people don't like this gloss. So that's fun. Called the Shade Slick Gelé in the shade Maraschino. Doe fit is incredibly small. I feel like I thought it was gonna be really big. Does not have a scent. Doe foot doesn't really pick up much product. I will say that it's comfortable though. I like the color. I feel like the component could be nicer for like a nicer brand, but yeah, I actually don't hate it. All right, mascara. I've been trying to use this Milani highly rated anti-gravity mascara, but I don't know. I just don't get these kind of wands. They are not for me. <laughs> I feel like I have to be so overly cautious when I apply my mascara that I'm not gonna poke myself with it. Anyway, I've been going over it with the Huda Beauty waterproof coat so that it doesn't flake everywhere because I find if I don't do this, it flakes all over my face all day. <laughs> and I hate that. So we make it waterproof. I feel a little too glowy. So I'm not gonna add anything to this brush. I'm just gonna <laughs> tap, 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 tap. Make sure this makeup lasts all day. I really had low expectations for the gloss because I felt like people were saying they didn't like it. I don't like the component, but it is very, very comfortable. Also gotta work on that cream blush. I don't know if I just got the wrong shade or if I blended it away or something. I don't know. Makeup, we did makeup, we made it happen. I didn't know if it was gonna happen, but it happened. And I feel like a human right now, which doesn't happen every day. That is it for this video. Hope you liked it. I'd love to be able to be doing this more consistently. We'll see what this season brings. And yeah, that's it for this video. As usual, thanks for stopping by my channel. If you're new here, click the subscribe button and ring that bell for notifications. I have my Instagram down below. Give it a follow and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.